Hey everyone, Celia the Lice Lady here. Thanks for coming back to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. Today we're gonna try something a little bit different. We're gonna talk about bed bugs, ticks, and fleas. They're definitely different from head lice, but they have a few things in common. So first we're gonna talk about bed bugs. Bed bugs like to embed in furniture. So they like to go inside of mattresses, furniture, things like that. Also, they like warm bodies. So any place where a warm body has been, a bed, if you've recently sat on a couch or something like that, those are the places that bed bugs are going to be attracted to. When bed bugs bite, the reason why sometimes people can't feel them is because their saliva actually is numbing your skin. That's why sometimes when people go to bed, they wake up and they have a crazy amount of bites on their bodies, but they didn't feel it as they sleep. Another fact about bed bugs is it doesn't matter how clean your home is. They're gonna go in a dirty home, clean home, doesn't really matter. Bed bugs reproduce so rapidly, that's supposedly the reason why they have become so resistant to so many products. Bed bugs are extremely hard to kill, kinda like head lice. Now let's talk about ticks. There are four stages in a tick's life. Each stage of the tick, except for the egg, needs a host to be able to survive. Something that I learned about ticks that I had no clue about is a tick is a rack. <laughs> the tick is actually a part of the arachnid family. It starts out with six legs and then it develops eight legs just like a spider over time. So it's more closely related to a spider, scorpion type family than it is to an insect family. Pretty interesting. A tick can take three years to fully mature and then reproduce. Much different from a head louse where it only lives for between 20 to 33 days. A tick has a pretty full lifespan. There are over 900 species of ticks. Ticks are also known to carry diseases that can be transmitted to humans, animals, and some of them can be deadly. So be careful if you have a tick bite to make sure that you remove it appropriately. There are certain methods that are better than others. I'm sorry, I'd much rather have head lice than any of these. Let's talk about fleas. When fleas lay their eggs, they typically will lay them on a host such as an animal. The eggs will roll off onto an environment such as a home. Fleas have a really flexible, I uh, forgot the word. Fleas have a very flexible life cycle. The more warm and moist their environment is, the faster they can hatch. Fleas can go a really long time without eating. Research shows that they can stay in their cocoon for up to a year. That's pretty gross. So imagine that, they're pretty hard to kill. A female flea can lay 50 eggs per day. Also, we know that fleas are some of the best jumpers. That's how they can survive. They can jump onto their host and then they're able to feed. Fleas also are known to transmit diseases. These diseases are not good diseases. They can cause severe illness. That's also like ticks. So if you have a flea infestation, make sure that it's taken care of appropriately. Overall, when we're talking about bed bugs, ticks, and fleas, when it comes down to head lice and comparing all of them, I'm gonna have to say, I would rather have head lice. I know how to get rid of it. It sounds a lot easier to get rid of. Head lice don't transmit diseases. And also, I have the options to be able to get rid of it. So I'm gonna choose head lice. I'm just laughing on that. I would choose head lice. I would! <laughs> I totally would. If I had, like, if you had to pick a plague, I would pick head lice. <laughs> what would you choose? Ticks, fleas, bed bugs, head lice? Leave it in the comments below. I pick head lice. So anyways, we hope you enjoyed this and we hope you have a happy and lice free day.